I woke up one night and there was a, a lot of noise, like the breaking of glass. And I looked out, I looked through the blinds and I saw that there were people throwing uh, stones through the windows that we knew, that I knew that the P Jewish people lived there. And they were throwing stones through all the windows, bricks and all kinds of things through those windows. And I realized that they're breaking all the windows of the Jews. And that is what became the infamous Kristallnacht, Kristallnacht. So I put on, I dressed myself warm and I ran out of the house. I was afraid, I was always afraid to stay in the house since I was deported. And uh, I ran out of the house and I ran down, I ran to the next block and there was the, some place nearby was this synagogue, Breuer Synagogue, spelled B-R-E-U-E-R. -E and that synagogue was in flames and there were, you know, young people standing there throwing stones through this, this beautiful windows. It was a gorgeous synagogue, it was, a, it was well known beautiful and it was up in flames and I was standing there at the corner in awe. The synagogue was something. We went to the synagogue even the recent Friday, the recent uh, Sabbath and uh, now the synagogue is in flames. I couldn't get over that but I realized very quickly that I can't push my luck and I kept on running. I thought this was just taking place in our street and, and I just kept on running and running at any place just to get away from this chaos. I, and then I realized that uh, they were still throwing bricks in many other windows. And, and I went to, the, to this main street where we had the store and all the, and, and all the windows were broken and they had Jude written in big letters, Jude. And I went and I ran back again. I didn't know where to run. I always thought that there was just there must be a place where they didn't throw these. But wherever I ran, there was, they were throwing bricks. And I decided to, I had a little money from the things I thought. I decided to run to the railway station because my sister was, my second sister, Mary, was still in Munich. And I thought I'll go to Munich because this way I'll, I'll go away from here. And that's what I did. And I got to the railway station and I got to a train and I went, the train took me to Munich and I thought, oh, I, I'm glad I'm getting away from that chaos. But when I got to Munich, the same thing was happening there. 